some of your the secular reasons why you are in the States and why you're visiting Blanco. Blanco is a community that has quite a few churches, mostly entirely Christian churches, if I'm correct about that. Um, but I did notice that reading a little bit of your biography that you are a man of faith, and I was wondering if you wanted to talk a little bit about what you see here in the community, the religious community in this town. Well, um, I'm, I'm, first of all, thank you for asking that question, because I, I like to talk about my faith. And, you know, growing up uh, in Nigeria and um, in California, my parents were very deeply into Anglicanism, obviously because of British colonialism in Nigeria. And I just followed my, my parents. And while, when I was six, because my, um, my mom noticed that I like to read, I like to read a lot. And so she gave me a Bible and I read it. I began reading the Bible at the age of six. And so I've read the Bible multiple times. And um, I think, you know, God blessed me with some uh, affluence. And I began to have So I, I read Hebrew, Aramaic and quite great and i read scripture for myself from cover to cover in the original languages and basically what i found out is that what we were taught as a child growing up uh, by uh, let's say um, protestant european based churches like um, protestants baptists anglicans uh, catholic and all of that it didn't actually reflect scripture a lot of things that we're taught in uh, let's say mainstream western uh, christendom they don't have a foundation in scripture so something like trinity trinity doesn't have a foundation in scripture at all you know a lot of the things that we do christmas easter and so i remember having a conversation with my mom not my biological mom uh, my foster mom who is about eight eight because my mom schooled in uh, europe and while she was schooling i grew up with my foster mom and i became attached to her i never reattached attached to my biological mom and so she's who i called my mom we're very close and so she called me on Christmas Day and she said, Merry Christmas. And I told, I said, I said to her, Mommy, I don't celebrate Christmas. And she told me, Shut up! <laughs> now who born you? Not be me. This is how uh, when Nigerians are angry, they speak in a, a language called pigeon. Mm -hmm. And I told my mom, I said, Look, no, Mommy, there's no Christmas. You know, all of that was made up by, um, you know, a Europeans. It's part of their pagan ways. And when they were coming, when um, Constantine and uh, and uh, all of the people that uh, trying to bring European uh, Christianity into Europe, they had to like take in their pagan festivals. And then my mom was like, "Is that true? Eh, what happened? How come say I read them for Bible? That's uh, it's pidgin English." And so for the first time, I think she was about eighty-two. My mom found out that Christmas. Easter, it's not the Bible. So I don't know what, how long that I have left on earth, but my the remaining purpose of my life is to bring back the scriptural Christianity, scriptural beliefs, and to help a lot of people see that a lot of the things that we believe in Christendom are not based on scripture. So that's that's just what I want to do for the rest of my life. Thank you. You're I very welcome, Stephanie. You're yeah. very welcome. Very good. Um, anything else you want to share? Any other adventures that you've had while you're here? Or anything else that you've done? Or anything like anything in Blanco, like specifically? Because we talked about you going to the Spurs. Or is there anything left on your agenda that you're looking forward to seeing in town or outside, outside of town? Okay, I'm going to say this. Um, you have an election coming up mm -hmm. very soon in a couple of months. Please vote for conservative candidates. Keep this town, small town, faulty, honest, hardworking. Vote for conservative candidates for your city council. And when the next election is coming, vote again for Mayor Mike Arnold. Well, that probably won't make it into the paper because <laughs> we don't write explicitly political things. Okay. But I'll find a way. You know, what will happen is like this this interview will be edited, okay. but I will make sure that I quote you accurately okay. when, I'm, when I'm doing direct quotes. 